Hello, Renee, how are you? Hello, Renee, how you doing? Welcome. Hello. 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 Hello, Paola. Hello, Odette. Good evening. Good evening, Paola. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Uriel. Hello, Virginia. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, Virginia. Hello. Hello, Gilbert. guys. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Hello, Hi. Oscar Garcia. Hello, Wendy. Welcome, guys. Are you Hi. ready? Good evening. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, we are. That's great. Can you please tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? Present continuous. Present continuous. Present continuous. Good evening, everybody. Hey, good evening. Can you good give evening, me some, Robert? Good evening. Can you give me some examples of the present continuous? Waiting, dancing, eating, drinking. Uh, can you give me a drinking sentence? A, a sentence. A complete sentence. My name is Clarence. I am worrying. I drink uh, some water. I drink or I am drinking? I, I am drinking. I we am. I am drinking. I we are drinking. studying a new language. Okay, so you can say. I am drinking. You can oh, say. I am, I am I am drinking some water. Some water. I am learning a new language. A new learning. Okay, thank you. Very good. I am drinking. <clears throat> Another example. I am sitting in my desk. I am sitting in, in my, my chair. Yes. I, I am watching my friends. I am watching, watching my friends. Mm -hmm. I am hearing I am my teacher. English. Okay. I am hearing. The teacher. the teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, another example, somebody? Tomasa, <laughs> another example? Microphone, no, Tomasa. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, hi good, good evening. evening. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <clears throat> another example? You are you are teaching English class in English class. You are teaching English class. Good. Another example. Uh, you are working every night. You are working. Every night. Excellent. Another example. Um, they, they are reading. They are reading. Uh, a book. Very good. They are reading a book. Another example. They are reading in the restaurant. 
they are eating fried chicken or your frito. She <laughs> is uh, she is surfing the net. Okay. She's she she's writing she's writing a letter. Letter. You are writing her many mother. sentences. Okay. Her mother. Very good. All right. Looks like you guys understand this topic. Um, I can see that you gave me a lot of examples. Uh, do you have any questions about this exercise? No, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the next example. For the next example, we're going to be moving forward. Uh, we were looking at... What section were we on? Do you remember the section? I don't remember. One moment. Yeah, section four or five. I think we're going to section Four. five. We finished. I think we finished. Finish. Mm -hmm. Yes. Six, six and four. Yeah, we finished this section yesterday. Present continuous statements. Continuous statements. Which one was that one? Oh, here it is. This one right oh. here. We were finishing this one. Uh -huh. Do you remember this exercise? Present continuous. Uh, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So you're wearing. All right. So today we are going to be moving forward. In yesterday's class, we were looking at present continuous statements discussion. Today we're going to look at the next exercise, which is section 411 instructions. Look at the pictures, input the correct answers in the blank. Uh, who wants to give me the answer for number one? Volunteer for number one. Yes, go ahead. I, I am. I am high heels too. I am. I am. I am wearing. I am wearing. I am wearing high heels too. Um, where is high heels too? Very good. Thank you, Roberto. Let me have another volunteer for the next one. Number one. The next one. Okay. It's raining. Medium. It's raining. It's raining, but I am not wearing a right up. I am not wearing a raincoat. Very good, Miriam. Thank you. The next it's, one. It's very sunny, but they are not wearing sunglasses. Are not wearing sunglasses. Very good. Sunglasses. Odette. Thank you, Odette. Sunglasses. Buenas noches. Disculpen, yo estoy. Disculpen, William. Hi, William. Good evening. All right. Number three. Phil is wearing a suit today. He. He's wearing a brown shirt. Wow. Uh -huh. He's, He's wearing, wearing a brown shirt. Very good. Number three, but. He's but. not wearing. He's not wearing. He's, He's not, wearing. not wearing. But he is not wearing a tie today. Very good. Number four, she, it's cold today. She, but Kathy isn't wearing a coat. She, she's wearing. wearing. She's wearing. She's wearing. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt, gloves, and hat. Sweatshirt, gloves, and a hat. Very good. Number four, she. She's not wearing. Not wearing. She's not but. wearing. But not wearing. Boots. Repeat. Boots. 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 
Very and good. She is Number wearing four, sneakers. She is wearing, wearing sneakers. She is wearing sneakers. Sneakers. Perfect. Perfect. Any questions in regards to this exercise? Oh, it's gone wrong. No. <laughs> Uh, what is that one? Let me see. Sandale. That one is. Sandale, por favor. My name is Claire. I am wearing a green suit today. Apostrophe. All right. Any questions? An apostrophe. Am I? Any questions? No, 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 no questions. No. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Next one, it says, by the end of this class, you will be able to form yes, no questions in the present continuous tense. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar preguntas con respuestas sí y no en el tiempo presente continuo. Present continuous, yes, no questions. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Can everybody hear? Let's get started by looking at the examples Can of your screen. Hear? Yes, yes. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, you yes I am. No, I'm sure. not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of compliment. And you need to write questions. For example, I'm going to give you, mention the subject will be you, and the verb eat. And in this case, I'm going to say dinner is the compliment. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. Let's take the the, the the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, I'm going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating? Dinner. It's the compliment. And of course, add the question mark. So I'm going to give you more, and you should um, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys. Now, for this activity, what I would like for us to do is we're going to be looking at some original examples for the questions. For example, if I say to you, 
Um, are you are you learning English? Are you learning English? Vamos a poner a William en silencio. Are you learning English? Is yes, we are. She very good learning English. Is she learning English? Is she, is she learning English? Yes, yeah, she is. Is he learning English? Are they learning English? Are we learning English? Right? So I want you to notice, guys, that the only thing that changes is whenever you use the pronoun you, we use are. When we use she, we use is. When we say he, we use is. When we use they, we use are. And when we use we, we use are also. And Any we, questions? When you use I, you, I use am when you use i you use am for example am i learning english learning english question very good any questions no teacher okay it's let's okay. have some more examples let's have some more examples Let's say, for example, if I say to you, eh, are you, are you watching TV? TV. Are you watching TV? Are you playing Video, video games, video games. You. Are, are you eating dinner? Are you eating dinner? Are you eating? Dinner? Are you taking class English? Are you taking English class? Are you cooking dinner? Or are we are we painting our house? Are you painting your house? Are you connecting to the plata? To the Zoom platform. Good. To Zoom, okay. Is he working or oh, no? Are you working How right you? now? Right now? Oh no. Are you working right now? Are you cleaning your are you
Are you paying attention? Are they are they keeping silent? Are they being being quiet? Quiet. Okay, being quiet. All right. Uh, so what I want you to do is one student is going to ask the question and the other student is going to respond to the question. One student is going to ask the question and the other student is going to respond to the question. Any questions? No, teacher. Ready? Let's go. Ready. Ok, y vamos a hacer nuevas o las mismas que él había hecho y vamos a hacer, y vamos a sí. preguntar. Yo creo que eran personalizadas. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo? Tratemos Entonces de no eran las algo. que habíamos hecho. No. ¿Verdad? ¿Verdad, que eran las, ¿Verdad que eran las que él hizo? No, yo creo que vamos a poner nuevas. Ay, no, yo estoy perdida, es que me estaban hablando aquí. Hagamos Susan. esas primero, pues, va. Eh, en el chat oh, están, sí. Susan, las que él había puesto. Vaya. Ay, sí. ¿Alguien, ¿Qué ¿alguien decir contesta? Que así en la ¿Are nube? you learning English? Entonces sería yes, I am. Sí, en positivo o negativo. Yes, I am. Ok. Ok, otra. Dígala. Ok, la otra era, vamos a ver. Are you playing video games? No, mm. we are not. Ok. Ok, la siguiente. Hola, hola. Miriam, regálenos una. O Susan. Ahorita voy. Are you flying now? Are you flying now? Flying. Flying. De volar. An airplane, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Vaya. Según las que nos puso, mm -hmm. es como... El are you, tengo que hacer la pregunta. Sí, y otro le contesta. Ok. Entonces, eh, de las mismas puede, que él hizo. Puede cambiar hizo. la actividad. Ok, bueno, voy a hacer una de las que él hizo y ya voy a pensar en otra. Are you cleaning your house? No, I'm not. ¿Quién es? ¿Roberto? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> Para Gambia. Qué barbaridad, Roberto. <ríe> Ay, ¿a quién pone a hacer la limpieza, Roberto? Are you washing the desk? De... ¿Cómo se dice trastos? 
are you dishes? Dishes. Are, washing are you the washing dishes? the dishes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am. Right. So the, the la única counting. ni modo. Pero como la respuesta es un verbo en acción que lo tienen que estar haciendo en este momento. Así Entonces es. Entonces sería que la, la respuesta es no. Sí. Pues, ah, no. Está, pero puede ser positiva o negativa. Sí, eso es ah, necesario. Sí. Sí. Ay, sí, qué bien. Me pierdo un poquillo. Entonces, ¿cómo dos... tengo que responder en negativo? ¿Cómo responder no, en negativo? No, si, lo está, si no lo está haciendo, diga no hay no. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I didn't. No, eh, no I'm not. No, I didn't. Es past tense. Okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> and and I only used to be. <laughs> Are you drinking coffee? No, only water. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Yo sí, yes, I am. En la clase siempre. <laughs> Para quitar el sueño. <laughs> sí. Este, quiero ver otra pregunta. Ok, la otra sería. Are you studying now? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are you airing Are the... you coming? Yeah. Are you coming to the party? Right no. now, no, but this Friday, this Friday, yes. <laughs> ya está preparado. Wednesday. <laughs> Are you writing the sentences? Yes, I am. Eh, no, I am. O sea, ya las sí, no, not... Ahorita no. Las hice ayer o en la noche. Usted siempre va bien adelantada. ¿eh? Ya va quizás por la. De, ya terminó todo. De la, una de la madrugada. Ya va por módulo. No dos, estoy haciendo seis. el examen. <laughs> Estoy haciendo el examen. Sí, es que fíjense que por el trabajo a mí me cuesta. Entonces, si yo no adelanto, me pasa que tengo tantas cosas que hacer que al acumular si siento que yo me complico más la vida. Entonces no le presto como atención. Where do you work? Eh, se llama. Good Sherper. Oh. Es una fundación que así se llama. Uh -huh. Good Sherper International. Sí. Vamos. Sherper. Hoy en vacaciones va a estar alegre. ¿Verdad? Dos semanas. Tengo Dos nada más. semanas. Va a venir más despeinadita. Más. Gracias. Gracias, Roberto. Sorry, yo, sorry. verdad, Miriam, como me dijo, despeinada. No, no, no. Dígale, es natural, dígale. Así ya es. Me chudo mi pelo. You look very nice. Ok. Gracias. No, y ahora que lo tengo corto, ¿no? Porque el largo es como más así. Ok. Pero no es afro. Soy muy, muy, muy curly. Are you swimming now? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Anything else? Are you cooking dinner? Uh, uh, yes, I am. <laughs> Are you paying attention? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm not. 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 
El teacher en 20 segundos. ¿Cómo dijo Roberto? Are you losing? Are you losing? <risa> Vamos. Es que no le oigo. Ah. Allá a lo lejos. Lo oigo, Roberto. Y yo creí que. Creí Ahora que estaba... sí, lo oí. Ah, eran los papeles, mire. Estaban encima del micrófono, lo siento. Ok, let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Ok, yo te chico. All right, Moises, one more volunteer, one more, Uriel, okay, Moises, ask the question, Uriel, respond to the questions, and then vice versa. Okay, la primera sería, are you watching TV? No. I'm not. Okay. Are you playing video games? No, I'm not. Are you eating dinner? No, I'm not. Okay. Are you talking English class? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are I'm you cooking dinner? No, How do you I'm say? Not. Oh. Cooking dinner. Cooking dinner. No, no, I can't. Okay, are you driving your car? No, I'm not. Are you painting your house? Yes, yes, I am. Are you connecting to Zoom? Oh, yes, yes, I am. Are you working right now? No, I'm not. No. I, I am studying. Okay. <laughs> Are you cleaning your house? Uh, repeat, please. Are you cleaning cleaning uh, your house? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Are you drinking coffee? No, I'm not drinking coffee. Are you playing with the children? Me voy a callar un ratito. <laughs> Angélica. Okay. Are you playing Sandra. with the children? No, I'm not. No, okay. Are you paying attention? Yes, I am. Yes, okay. I am. Are you being quiet? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. okay. Ahora pregunto yo. Okay. Are you watching TV? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Are you playing video games? No. No, I'm not. Are you eating dinner? Thank you. No, I'm, I'm not. Are you taking English class? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are you cooking dinner? No, no I'm, not. I'm not. Are you driving your car? No, I'm not. Are you Painting your house? Yes, I am. Are you connecting to Zoom? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are you working right now? No, I'm not. I am not. Are you cleaning cleaning your house? No, I'm not. Are you drinking coffee? Yes, no, I'm am. not. Are you playing with the children? No, no I'm not. not. Are you 
paying attention? Yes, I am. Are you being quiet? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Es asunto. Good job. All right. Let me have two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Dos voluntarios más. Dos voluntarios más. All right, Sandra. One more volunteer, Beatriz. Sandra asks the questions, Beatriz responds, and then vice versa. Okay. Uh, are you watching TV? No, I'm not. Are you playing video games? I am not. Are you eating dinner? Yes, I am. Are you talking English class? Yes, I am. Are you cooking dinner? No, I'm not. Are you driving your car? No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you painting your house? Yes. Yes, I am. Are you connecting to Zoom? Yes, I am. Are you working right now? No, I am. No, Are you cleaning your house? Yes, I am. Are you drinking coffee? Yes, I am drinking coffee. Are you playing with the uh, children? No, I'm not. Are you paying attention? Yes, I am. Are you buying quiet? No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> Are you watching TV? Uh, no, I am not. Are you playing with the wings? No, I am not. Are you eating dinner? Uh, yes, I am. Are you talking in English class? Yes, I am. Are you cooking dinner? Yes, I am. Are you driving your car? No, I am not. Are you painting your house? Yes, I am. Are you connecting to Zoom? Yes, I am. Are you working right now? No, I am not. Are you cleaning your house? Yes, I am. Are you playing, are you drinking coffee? No, are I am playing, not. Are you playing with the children? Yes, I am. Are you paying in attention? Yes, I am. Are you being quiet? No, I am not. All right, good job, guys. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I know that everybody wants to participate, guys, but we have to continue. We have to move forward for the next exercise. So for the next exercise, we're going to be looking at section number knowledge check, which is section number 4.14, knowledge check. Look at the image below and answer the questions with the short answers. Observa la imagen de abajo y contesta la pregunta con su respuesta correcta. Let's look at the first one. Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is. Yes. Yes, he is. He is. Is Nick wearing sunglasses? No, no he's, he's not. not. He's not. No. He's not. Is yeah. Beth wearing a purple jacket? Yes. yes he is. Yes. 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 yes, she is. Is John wearing blue jeans? Oh, no, he's, no, not. he's not. 
Is Anita wearing a yellow skirt? No, she's not. No, she's not. No, she's not. All right. What happened here? Maybe using apostrophe. Oh, yeah, it's got to be contracted. Okay. That's the advantage of the teacher. Ahí están las respuestas. Esto no quiero. No, he isn't. Teacher, on a question. Yes. ¿Cómo, cómo saber diferenciar cuando, por ejemplo, en inglés, como no existe la palabra ustedes, Entonces, sino que siempre utilizan el you, ¿cómo podremos diferenciar cuando a veces está diciendo de, de ustedes en singular y no se está refiriendo, digamos, cuando, cuando está diciendo eh, de tú o usted, digamos así, este, y siempre se utiliza el mismo you? Correct. El pronombre you. Correct. Eh, sí, eh, eh, singular o plural siempre se va a usar you. Por ejemplo, si yo les quiero decir, pasen buenas noches. Yo les puedo decir, okay, guys, have a good night, or good night, everybody, right? Así como en general. Pero digamos que usted le quiere decir, um, eh, yo les quiero decir, hey, los, los veo el próximo lunes. Les puedo decir, see you next Monday. Pero como ustedes ya entienden por el contexto que estoy hablando con el grupo, Usted interpreta el you como un you colectivo. Quiere decir que es un you con bastantes. Mm -hmm. Pero si el contexto me dice que estoy hablando con solamente una persona, allí ya se entiende que es un you singular. So el contexto, el entorno, eh, dice bastante si uno lo está refiriendo sí. en plural o en singular. Me refiero, por ejemplo, perdón, por ejemplo, en este caso, digamos, Eh, cuando dijo, are you, are you dinner? O sea, eh, ¿se podía entender? ¿Están ustedes cenando o, o, o tú directamente estás cenando? Entonces, ¿cómo, ¿cómo poder hacer la diferencia cuando está hablando, digamos, a, a varios en este caso? ¿Están ustedes cenando o solamente, digamos, este, tú estás cenando? ¿Cómo sería la diferencia ahí? Eh, bueno, aquí, si vemos la imagen, se ve que el, el joven le está haciendo referencia a ella, right? So allí él le puede decir a ella, are you having dinner? Y vemos que es singular. Pero digamos que él está dan, dado la vuelta. Él no está hablando solo con ella. ella. Él está hablando con él, con ella, con él y con oh. ella. Y les dice, hey, are you having dinner? Ellos ya entienden que está hablando con ellos. El contexto le va a decir. Teacher, I have a okay, question. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, in the last exercise, there are three forms to response. For example, no, she is not. No, she she isn't. Y no. Um, me perdí. <laughs> right, yeah. No, right here. Puede responder eh, no, she's not. No, she is not. No, she isn't. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Si sí, hay varias formas de poderlo responder. Thank you. Yes. Algo otra pregunta? Another question, guys? Eh, teacher. Yes. Eh, quizás solamente como, como sugerencia, quizás, o observación, quizás, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, de que en algunas veces, por ejemplo, había algunas respuestas que quizás eran un poco más largas que el espacio que habían dejado en la plataforma. 
Okay. Y por ende, pues eso te permitiría tal vez algún tipo de confusión en el hecho que uno espera, dice, bueno, como el espacio es chiquito, entonces la respuesta debe ser corta. Mm. Pero no si, si la respuesta fuera más larga, por ende, ah, no, sí, este, puedo ser que me extienda más con la, con la respuesta. Bueno, en mi caso personal, eh, yo me duro hoy con una, con una respuesta donde le estaban preguntando que si el inglés era su su primera lengua entonces y yo decía pero la respuesta tiene que ser corta no puedo utilizar más palabras y, y la verdad al final pues me, me costó pero pero sí me confundió mucho un poco el espacio eso solamente ok ok we're gonna look at that right now thank you Gilbert ok algo otra consulta o observación que quisieran expresar guys antes que continuamos yo sí quiero decir algo y es que cuando a veces ponemos respuestas correctas sucede que nos dice que no y creo que lo ha visto en el chat casi toda la semana que respondemos correctamente como una respuesta que usted nos dio ayer a René y a mí que era pues creo que una de estas que estamos haciendo y lo pusimos de mil maneras con mayúscula con minúscula eh, con coma sin coma de todas maneras y nunca agarró hasta que copiamos el que nos dijo entonces no sé por qué pasa eso Sí, en casos así, lo que puede hacer es tomarle una captura de pantalla y mandársela, en este caso, a Mauricio. Y decir, porque ellos son de apoyo técnico. Y decirle, mire, Mauricio, esta es la respuesta correcta. Yo ya la corroboré con el teacher. Él dice que sí está correcta. Y yo la estoy poniendo así y asá. Y no me agarra. Ese ya ellos allí lo que van a hacer es cambiar el coding de la plataforma para que ya, digamos, acepte más. Okay, y en este caso lo tenemos en el grupo a él. Para, porque no sí, sé. ahí está Mauricio Jiménez. Ahí está. Él es ah, el okay. supervisor. Sí, Mauricio es okay. el... Gracias. El que Teacher. se de, de eso. Teacher. ¿Mande? Sí, este, retomando lo que dice eso. la compañera en este momento. Eh, tal vez como observación siempre sería de que Quizás la plataforma, en algunos casos, las respuestas no deberían de ser tan, quizás, cerradas, ya me así. Eh, como dijo el compañero, a veces podría ser que por un apóstrofe, una coma, o a veces tal vez porque la inicial no es mayúscula, entonces quizás debería ser, dejar quizás un poquito de alternativa, ¿verdad? que cualquiera de tal vez de cuatro o cinco respuestas, con tal de que vaya el contexto de, de, de por sí, que quizás sea válida, pues porque... Hay respuestas a veces de que, como es el compañero, uno prueba. De, una, de hecho, yo pedí auxilio dos veces en la plataforma ahí, en, en el grupo hoy, porque yo, yo ya estaba, no le llamaba, solamente. Sí, no, sí, cuando son casos así, usted puede preguntarme a mí directamente en un chat privado o en el grupo, o si usted está consciente que esa es la. Eh, la respuesta correcta y ya la corrobolamos y aún así no lo agarra usted puede mandárselo a Mauricio y él, él es de apoyo técnico él llega ahí cambia el código de la forma para que acepte el código de ok All right, guys, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, which is going to be from section number five. Section number five. Let's check it out. All right, we're going to be looking at section 5.0, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation 
between two people in different time zones. Al finalizar esta clase, serán capaces de hablar sobre diferentes ciudades y las zonas de horarios internacionales. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación de dos personas en diferentes zonas de horarios. Uh, para las personas que están aprendiendo inglés, guys, este tema es sumamente fuerte. Eh, yo por lo personal, eh, no sé si ustedes saben qué hago yo aparte de dar clases de inglés, eh, pero este tema es uno de los temas que yo utilizo mucho en mi trabajo. Yeah, porque yo trabajo con personas que están en el time zone del east, perdón, del west. Eh, trabajo con los que están en central time, los que están en eastern time. Right? Porque yo trabajo con clientes en toda la región de los Estados Unidos. So, esto, lo que vamos a ver ahorita, eh, no solamente, digamos, es inglés así, sino que es como un inglés más que nada orientado para, para un negocio o un trabajo o una persona que, que trabaja en ventas a nivel internacional. Ok. Ok. Let's, let's see. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are following questions in our conversation? That's okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. All right. Let's yeah. go ahead and look at this conversation. Everybody listen and repeat. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. Hi, Hi Debbie. Debbie. This, is John. this is John. I'm calling from Australia. I'm calling from Australia. 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 I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? And it's, and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 
Yes. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Four a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. Four a.m. Oh, oh, really I'm sorry. really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. That's okay. That's okay. I am awake. I'm awake. awake now. Four a.m. I'm really sorry. Now, what we're going to do is practice the conversation in pairs. Practice okay. the conversation in pairs as many times as possible. Ready? Let's go. Practice the okay. conversation in pairs. Hola. <laughs> Hola. ¿Qué pasa? Hola, Pau. Ya casi en despedida, ¿no? Ah, no, si seguimos, ya me acordé. Sí. Sí, sí. Ya contento, yo que con eso graduado, ya, ya quedamos de licenciados en inglés. No, hombre, qué hora, ya me estoy viendo que íbamos a seguir después. Yo diciendo, ah, ya nos vamos ya a esta clase. Bueno, ¿y qué se supone que vamos a hacer? Vamos a practicar la conversación que escuchamos. La del, la del teléfono. Sí, de Debbie en John. ¿Y dónde? En el, ¿Se estará ahorita en, en, en WhatsApp eso? No. Te lo voy a compartir. Ah, ok, por favor. Listo, un código. <coughs> Ahí al chat lo voy a mandar. Bueno, ahorita no. Vaya, me avisa si lo recibió y practicamos. Hola, hola, perdón. Les, les, tenía el micrófono. Si, sí, sí. les preguntaba que si, eh, si les pregunto, ¿agarro como yo en el papel ahorita o, o alguien más va a agarrar la, la iniciativa? O cambiamos y agarro como Debbie yo ahorita y, y la agarro como. Bueno, la verdad no sé, se suponía que íbamos para salas, pero veo varios acá. Sí, estoy viendo. <risa> Por eso estaba preguntando, como vemos varios, o sea, no sé si alguien más tome la iniciativa o no queda más. Dele, este sea John. Quiero ver. Voy a agarrar John. A ver si me acuerdo cómo se le iba. Dele, arranque. Practique. Empiezo a ver. Ya arranque. Hello. Hi. Hi, David. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? Uh, and I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's for a club there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Uh, four, uh, four a.m. 
Oh, I am ready. Sorry. That's okay. I am great now. <laughs> <laughs> o sea que la despertó el baboso. Bueno, de por Okay, ¿Qué más? Ya ver qué más, qué más. Si quiere invertimos, o sea, porque veo que eso no, no quiere el tipo, lo es. No, dele porque ya va a acabar el tiempo. <ríe> Entonces le sigo preguntando. Ajá, ahora empieza usted. Ajá, ahora vamos a hacer. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is Jones. I call you from Australia. Australia? I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And this is for o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I am awake for now. <laughs> okay. Hey, me llega de que este, hay una hay una parte que me me, me llegó vamos a ver este. What time? ¿Cuál fue la que dijo esta parte donde dijo? Ah, en Karen Francia donde dijo también estoy en una conferencia. Ah, donde ahí está. ¿Cómo es que dijo ahí en esta parte? ¿En cuál? En donde dice donde dice después de Australia donde dice David donde está yo. I am I am a conference in Sydney. All right, guys, time's I'm up. Time's I'm up. up. Okay. See you on Monday. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.